My computer must be broken because I got a negative R squared. That's not possible. Actually, it is. Samueli Mazzanti lays this out very well in a post on LinkedIn. He says the truth is, R squared is not the amount of variability explained by the regression model, as many sources claimed. Instead, it's simply a way to scale the mean squared error. Let's take a look at the formula so we can understand how it's possible for R squared to be negative. The formula is 1 minus the squared difference between the actual y values and the predicted y values over the square difference between the actual y values and the average y. So mathematically speaking, if the numerator is greater than the denominator, then we're gonna have a negative r squared. And this can happen when your model's predicted values are so far away from the actual y values that drawing a straight line of the average of those outcome values is actually just a better prediction. Translation, your model is terrible and just guessing the average is actually a better model than the model that you've created. Here's an example of what this could look like. See how this average line is a lot closer to the actual Y values than the predicted line? So next time you get a negative R squared, just remember it's not Python that's broken, it's your model that's broken and your model is not working for that data set. In fact, you might have to use other methods. So check out some of my other videos where you can learn how to use Python to fit models to data.